Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. What I'm showing you here today is above ground planter boxes that we're using for our garden. Okay, so it's September and quite honestly, uh, there are some things that we can still plant in the ground and still pull out before winter gets here. Now I'm gonna show you these boxes here. See, now this is how they arrive here. See, this is a four by two by two foot, or four by one, four by two by one foot, and there's two of them in there. That's two of these right here. These two right here came in a box just like this, okay? <laughs> and then we have some eight, eight by four, eight foot by four foot, and we have some six by three that we have out here also. And here, we have some watermelon that I started growing last month. And look, we have a little baby melon growing on here. So that works. We have irrigation that's gonna be put out here. And I have a hose here for it, along with a sprayer nozzle to get things started. So the water's not hot when I first turn it on. I'm gonna use a spray nozzle and spray the ground until the water cools down and then hook it up to the irrigator. So that'll work. Okay, so there are a lot of different vegetables that could still be grown and also herbs right now in September that you can pull out of the ground before winter gets here in, in December. I'll put a link to the site that I'm using in the description. And also I'll put the link to the company that we purchased these planter boxes from, okay? They're out of New Jersey. It's it says plant and plot. And I don't know if you can see the address up here. Oh, maybe not. Yep, right there. That's the address. The website is plantandplot.com. Okay. So that'll be in the description. And what this is, alright. So they recommend that. When you put these in the ground, you put cardboard down and then you put sticks and small logs in here to hold moisture and also to keep anything growing up through the ground. So what we did is uh, we put I put the cardboard down and then the sticks and logs. And then we have our compost here. This is uh, horse manure and vegetable peelings eggshells, crushed up eggshells from our chickens, and coffee grounds and other different things. Now we use this, see what I did, is I, I'm showing you <coughs> these three over here are going to be for the potatoes and the onions, carrots, beets, other things that are root vegetables. They're gonna be in there. I'm not gonna put any sticks in there, okay? But things like collard greens and lettuce and cabbage and broccoli, stuff like that, peas, other things to be grown right now. That's what these sticks are for, for, for the for the peas. I'm gonna run this, put the sticks in the, in some of these pots and run twine across it so the peas will have something to hold on to as they grow up. Alright. So first off, put the cardboard in the bottom. These things are real easy to put together. Okay. And these are the metal braces that go across. And these are real simple to put in. See these? Let me show you here. See the framework? See these little knurled nuts right here? Button nuts. Okay, you put these together. They come in pieces. Let me show you the outside. So you got little tabs on them. And they're real simple. And the instruction manual comes with it. It took about maybe 10 minutes to put these together. Okay. And these braces that are on here, they're real simple to go back in. See, you just take it, and you got little tabs on the end. And you slide that in there. And then you bring this over here, and straighten this out. See? See? Just like that. They go right back in. All right, now after I put the compost dirt in here, then I'll put these bars back in, support bars. 
and uh, it'll help hold top together. As you can see, we already have some of them set up, ready to go. And I'll be planting that later on today. And they also come with little tags that you can put at each row. And there's a pen that comes with a little marker comes with it also so you can mark down what you've planted. <coughs> I have topsoil here. Okay. There's topsoil. That's going to go on top. Like I said, you got compost in the tractor. So... This is fairly simple, fairly easy. Um, give it a shot. And like I said, I'll put the, the uh, links to the vegetables and herbs that we can grow right now in the fall. And you'll be able to harvest in the wintertime. And also the link to the site for plot and plant. Oh, okay. Plant and plot, sorry, plant and plot. <laughs> Get the website right, dummy. But yeah, so that'll be there. There's a phone number also that you can call. That'll be in the links and description. The so just want to let you know what's going on here. So this is just going to be a little short video showing you what I'm doing today. All right. So I appreciate all the subscriptions that I've been getting believe me it it matters thank you very much i really do I, I appreciate it so don't forget to subscribe leave a comment and a like okay and uh drop a comment i will try to respond to every one of them i have in the past and i see that i will in the future so like i said you know i appreciate all y'all watching my videos it's just a little something that I'm doing here on the farm, at my son's farm, trying to help out. And also, I'll put the Instagram account to the farm. It'll drop, we have photos of everything that we're building here, things that are getting done, like building the deck, building the pool, deck and all that stuff. Oh, and the compost that, that I'm using, we used over here to build this little garden right here and I got these lilies to put back put in the ground okay so yeah this is another little garden I've got roses Sharon's got roses got day lilies and we got tiger lilies that are in the center and then we got the purple dragons that are right here they have those right there so those are getting put in and the day lilies and roses Rows of Sharon's, and we have Mexican petunias. Yep, the soil that I use for this is the compost that I have in my tractor bucket. Same exact thing. So it works. Okay, so just wanted to show you what's going on here. All right. As you can, we have to do this because, as you can see, it's all sand up here. Where I'm at here in South Carolina so we try to garden over there and it's just too much sand for stuff to grow so this is what we're doing to get a garden growing all right so y'all take care and uh, I'll catch you on the next video bye